Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Cancer Tarot Money and Career reading from November 14th to the 20th, 2022. Cancers, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Cancers, November 14th to the 20th, money and career. Cancers, what messages do we have? Thank you, thank you to each and every one for watching. Thank you for subscribing and hitting the bell if you haven't yet. All right, let's see. Eager for change, Cancer. You are transforming. You're 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 letting go something and you're starting something completely new, and you're you're excited about that. Um, yes, these two contradictory um, energies, the light energies of having fun, of enjoying life, not taking life too seriously and a big change at the same time. So maybe this is the moment where you're, you're pushing forward in a lighter way. You want something more fun. You want to enjoy life a little bit more. Uh, let's see, career-wise, what this is all about. The death is about detaching yourself from those negative vibes, detaching yourself from that negative idea that this is going nowhere or that you're not getting enough or that it's, you know, that this is not serving you, whatever it is. So it's really the death, the death of the death of a phase. Look at this. You have the magician. So you're starting something completely new. You've been wanting to start something new. Maybe you want to start your own business. Maybe you want to shift careers. Maybe you want to work in that company. Maybe you want to change. You don't want to work in that company. You want to go, you know, you want to go abroad, overseas to another city. You want to change. It's a big, big change, cancers, whatever it is. But it's it's the big change with um, excitement and happiness to make it happen. So you realize that whatever it is, whatever energies you're in now are no longer serving you or not, you're not connecting with them or you're not satisfied with what they're bringing you, right? So you're opening up to something completely different, completely new, far more valuable, far more interesting in your eyes, right? So you're letting go of that past and, and you're really opening up to something more interesting, ready to embrace the new, embrace the new opportunity, embrace what you've worked so hard for, embrace what you've manifested, right? It's time. It's time, Cancers. It's time, it's time to move on to the new. Might be hard, but it's really um, the importance of change, the importance of understanding the shifts and understanding that you cannot, you can no longer it's not, it's not, it's not working for you, right? And here we have um, something that's much more important for you moving forward. Yes, there you go. The Ten of Swords, the end of a situation. And the magician is always there to say it's time. Once you're clear on your path, once you're clear on your choices, on your idea, on your career move, on your job move, on whatever it is that you want to make happen. Yes, look at this. The Fool. It's a brand new journey. And that's why you're excited. Even though it's painful, even though it's something that's difficult to maneuver, Maybe it's law. It, 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 surprise, we don't have the uh, tower here, but you have three major arcana here. And the magician is there when you're clear in your idea, when you're clear on your, what you want. And that is when you have all the resources. You know you have the knowledge. You know you have the resources to make it happen. So this is moving forward no matter what. It's moving forward 
maybe it has been painful maybe you know it, it can be because of a loss of a job or but yes uh, there we go i i was surprised we didn't have the tower and here it is because you're realizing look at this this is a huge huge week here cancer something here is joyful and painful at the same time um, that you're understanding that you're moving on to something completely different. Something is happening big, big time cancer, but it's also your awareness, opening up to the awareness, opening up to the time where you, you know, you have to shift, you know, you have to shift careers, shift your move, move cities, move countries. Um, uh, finally, you know, get that uh, business up and running or finally uh, starting that search for the job or, you know, whatever it is. But it seems like you're clear on what you want though. And um, you're excited, even though it's not easy. And the tower is the moment where you see everything differently, a different perspective. Yes, you're freaked out. Of course you're freaked out because it's a big change, right? It's a big change in your life, but it's a change coming from you. It is your change, your decision, your journey, right? No one is imposing this on you. This is your time to move forward. It's learning to trust yourself with the fool and learning to trust yourself even though you don't know exactly what it's all about even though you don't have you haven't pinpointed right it, you you know you're shifting you know you're changing but it's it's having faith in yourself as you engage with life and the more you let go and surrender to the now the more potential you're allowing into your path this is almost as if you're experiencing life for the first time, opening up to the world, opening up to the world around you, excited, excited to um, experience new adventures, to meet new people, to maybe start a new job, to start new connections, to may earn money differently, and just take the world as your oyster cancer with this with this fool card um it's it's your awakening it's your aha moment that you know you have to think things differently see things differently and shift your mind into a new direction wow wow yes it has been a journey it, ten of um ten of wands you've sort of felt um, the difficulties or, you know, or pressure or competition within a job. This can be shifting jobs, right? Really, or shifting careers. But, you know, it. yes, it's heavy on your shoulders. And yes, it's a little confusing because all transitions are confusing and pressure and difficulties because we're letting go the known and we're entering uh, the unknown zone. And even if the unknown uh, even if the known is difficult, no longer serving you, not, no longer for you. And if, for example, a job, you know, you're going to exit at one point. And when it's time to exit, ah, okay, it's now, even though you've known maybe for months that this was not for you, that at one point you're going to shift, change jobs, change journeys, take it as it resonates. It's still difficult when it happens. And, you know, and it doesn't mean anybody did anything wrong. It, it just means that now it's time to move on to something so much better. Ten of Cups, the sun, happiness, finding your balance, finding your happiness within your home, within your job. This is what where you belong. Even if the transition is that, almost that, that light bulb, wouldn't I said that for uh, Scorpio as well? What was that light bulb, right? That that comes, that lights up in your mind that it's time, time to shift, time to change. It is big, but it's it's you're you're moving into happiness. You're moving into this harmony, this balance in your life with the ten of the ten of cups, happiness with the sun. Um, I think that your choice of moving. Uh, it doesn't mean moving, you know, it can be, you can be moving cities, moving countries, moving houses, moving places, right? Um, but I think that 
it's the choice of shifting and moving forward in a different direction. I mean, one, two, three, four, five major arcana um, is, first of all, it's time with this 10 of wands. You're at the end. It has been confusing, but I also think you have different options and it's your, it's choice time. And I, you, probably you've had disillusions along the way. Probably you've had a job that didn't pan out or you thought it was going to be great and it didn't work out, right? Maybe the Knight of Wands is someone that you can trust. Possibility. Mm, doesn't have to be that. I think you're entering a much lighter energy once you push forward into the change and understand you have to change and and the vision of the world is different and our decisions are different our way of working is different seeing the world is different and anyone that says it diff you know I, I i always say the that in these readings and if anyone um comments saying that nothing has changed or you know why do i say the world is chaotic well i don't know then maybe you've been living in another planet right i don't know but um look at this it is a beautiful push into the sun this is going to give you balance the sun is all about positivity seeing the world in a positive way um, connecting with people in a positive way, connecting with the right people, enjoying the job, enjoying the work, enjoying the idea, the, the business, the, maybe you're developing something, maybe you're choosing your own path, right? Um, it can be anything, but it's something that really brings you joy and happiness and sort of radiates uh, and, and your positivity, you, you radiating positivity in the world, uh, seeing the light and seeing things in an optimistic way that is bringing in the positivity in your energies and just following you forward. Your positive energies are just going to push you forward. And it's just going to get better and better, right? That's what the sun is all about, about happiness, but also seeing things, in a, in a sunshine way, right? People want to be with you. People are happy to connect with you. People want to work with you. All right. Five of swords. Yes. Well, that goes with the tower. Obviously, ego situations, fighting, fighting in a job, you know, just not seeing eye to eye, right? And, and whatever this tower is, and I always say the tower does not have to be something uh, dramatic. The tower is you recognizing that you have to see things differently and think things differently. And it can be something someone says, someone does, something you see, or just you waking up one morning and, and feeling the change and feeling the necessity to uh, make that decision and make that career shift. Right. But it's a beautiful, beautiful career shift, even though it looks, I want to say almost painful, but it's not because you've known this for a while. Cancer, this is nothing new, right? Yes. Look at this victory over that. I'm going to put it over the 10 of swords. You see there, there you go. It's anxiety, but victory. Knight of Wands and Death. It's excited. It's very odd. It's a very odd energy because it's it's tough but beautiful at the same time. It's difficult, but it's um, it, it pushing you into the joy of finding the right path, the joy of finding that right job, that right career, that right career choice. If it's you starting your own business or shifting careers completely, and it can be that right? Because you have the death card. You're completely transforming. But I really think that these energies are you understanding now the necessity of um, making those decisions and moving on to a different, different way of being. Six of wands, you're leading. You can be uh, taking on a manager position in a company. Uh, or, or you're leading um, a team, 
whatever it is, pat yourself on the back, Cancer, because you have done the job. You have done the work and you are cruising now. Uh, this is giving you a confidence boost, boost right? You're, you're happy with your transformation. Uh, bravo to you, Cancer, because you get out of the tunnel in a, in a transformative way. You are a new person. You are a new soul. You are a new mind, really. Yes. Pushing forward, imposing yourself, focused and determined on what you have to do. And at the same time, it's, it's these, these cards are fascinating because it's stop and go and stop and go. And uh, I do, I don't, I do, I don't. I know I have to do this, but I don't want to go, but I'm ready, but I'm not, right? It's that, that dual that dual energy, constant dual energy in your mind, shifting, focusing, determined, pushing, imposing yourself up, taking your time, stopping, wanting happiness, but oh my, it's, it's anxiety driven, right? Those, sh that shift of energy, that constant shift of energy. I feel like there's one more card that wants to come out. Beautiful, beautiful week. Uh, big week here, uh, Cancer. Big week in your decisions. Uh, big week in your way of seeing things, uh, transforming, letting go a lot of emotions, letting go a lot of negative self-thoughts, negative uh, situations. Yes, the letting go of this indecisiveness, right? Seeing things in a different perspective completely right? With this two of swords, that sort of sums it up. The indecisiveness of blocking, blocked situation for a while. And now you're finding that compromise or finding that, finding that way out that makes you happy. Finding that way out, whatever it is, comment down below. Let me know what this is all about, um, Cancer, because it is a huge transformation. Yes, lots of swords. Focus, focus, focus. And I think you're focusing once you understand, yes. Once you understand that it's going to be different. Once you understand with this hangman, it really it's stop and go, stop and go. You know you have to impose yourself. You know you have to change things. You know you're changing careers, changing jobs, changing cities, changing lives. Can be anything, right, with this death, death card. But it's also, it can also be just you in your soul. You don't have to be jumping the Atlantic, right? <laughs> you don't have to be uh, moving cities and starting your life over completely. It can be just you in your mind. And I'm going to calm down just a little bit. In your mind, understanding to see things in a positive way. And be clear on your objectives and be clear on what you want, what makes you happy on your path. And I know that's not easy. And I never take these words lightly because everyone right now is going through transformations and trying to figure out what they're made of, what this world is all about and how they can adapt to the new energies and what is going to become and what's the next step, right? What is this all about? And we're still in those energies, but now we know that it's not, it's chaotic and we're not going to go back to a new normal. There is no new normal. It's constant shift and constant chaos. So we have to learn to adapt and balance ourselves each step of the way. So yes, temperance, and, and the hangman, seeing things in a different way. And I think you're entering a zone where your opportunities are going to be different. Your choices are going to be different. Um, I don't see an ace, but um, so I don't think, see the beginning of something. It's the fool, the beginning of a new journey. Is there a new job? I don't know. But definitely, definitely in your mind, your approach to your, your decisions, your life, your soul path is completely different. The perspective is different. You're assessing and reassessing um, what, what your choices are. And I think you've been blocked for a while thinking that you had to just 
stay where you were. And now this week is that aha moment where you understand. You understand what this is all about and you understand where you stand on your path and what you want for the future and how you're going to transform it. Wow. What an amazing reading, Cancer. It's a very, very powerful reading. Comment down below. Let me know what's going on on your path. Let, yes, wow. There you go. Just confirming. It's a rebirth. It's a rebirth. I mean, the judgment is rising up to something so much more important for you, so much more val valuable. You're bossing up. You can be bossing up big time in a career move. You can be bossing up big time in a job move. But you, yourself, your mind, your soul, you are reaching a whole nother level with the judgment. Understanding, right? Um, it's that, that um, conscious awareness of this rebirth, a new start. It's a beautiful, beautiful new inspiration. You're very clear in your mind. You're very clear on what you want. Whatever it is that is happening here with the tower and the death and the judgment, whatever it is, my oh my, this is something very, very powerful that is transforming your life. Wow. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to each and every one for subscribing. If you haven't yet, comment down below. Let me know where you stand on your path, what is happening in your energies. And if you've just stumbled upon this reading and enjoyed this uh, energy, uh, please subscribe and hit the bell as well and comment down below. Let me know where you stand in your energies. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, Cancers. Have a great week. Bye-bye.